Yeah, so previously, before you adapted to that environment, it's probably a fish. How do you know it's a fish? What? Yeah, so how do we know it's a fish? Because it has all the characteristics of a fish. It has a fin, it has gills, it has eyeballs, right? And it's most likely a fish, okay? But it became very unusual. Why? Because it can now live on land. Look at that. Okay? Yeah, it can live on land. And then it can even walk on land. How does it walk on land? It uses its fins. Okay, so this is called adaptation for survival. Okay, did it happen like within one day or two days? No, no this is, I don't know, maybe 20... Thousand years later or 50,000 years, I don't know, right? That means at first they were fish, they were like happily swimming in the uh, in the pond or something like that. Then eventually, what did they happen to the amount of water? Decrease. Yeah, decrease, get less and less, and then uh, they managed to survive, and those that managed to survive, uh, you know, they grew into this type, they evolved, you know, Pokemon evolution, right? Yeah. So this one, they evolved into this type of... How do they breathe? Yeah, that's, that's a very interesting question. Now, how they breathe is, uh, they breathe through the skin. Skin. It's like on the skin, okay? They can like absorb. There's another thing. They have gill chamber. Yeah, we'll study gill chamber, okay, as we go along. So these are animals, you see? They can walk. They can walk. In Singapore, in Singapore, you can find them as well. They can literally walk on the uh, land, okay? Now, what else? Now, do you realize the color? All of them are almost the same color as what? Well. The yeah. environment, the rock. Okay, why? Why do you think they grew in so this way? Yeah, who, who, the predator? who are their predators? Fish. Fish? Crocodile. Yeah, okay, crocodile. What else? Eagles. Yeah, those uh, animals, predators at the top, right? They'll look down and after that, uh, they try to swap them, right? So another thing about this is, uh, why do you think their eyes are on top of their head like that? How come the eyes are like that? Normally, where's the eyeballs of the fish? Here, right? Normally, the eyeball fish, you can look at the fish, right? It's, it's in the side one, right? Usually, that's the case. But how come this one, huh? Yeah, why? why? Why does it have to be here? Why do you think it has to be here? How did it like shift? It's on top of the head. What's the purpose of having eyeballs on top of the head? There is. Because, sorry, what? Snail. Just like the snail, you say, ah, okay, why? Ah? The reason is very simple. Now it's called mud skipper. Most of the time, yeah, most of the time, most of the time he spends his life hiding inside the mud. Ah, very good, right? So you see, it's, okay, let me, let me show you a picture. Let's see if there's one. Uh, okay, so can you imagine if it's, you know, at this point, it is uh, trying to walk across the mud. And then if the eyeball is at the side, if it's going like, you know, the mud water will fly to the eyeballs, right? Okay, that's one that's one thing. The other time, the other thing is uh, usually you should be hiding in the mud, right? When it's hiding in the mud, okay, let me show you. All right, wait. There's mud skipper hiding, right? Oh, I just want to see a uh, eyeball coming on. There, look at that. They are, because they are. They, yeah, they do. Okay, something like that, yeah. So, most of the time, it's actually inside the mud. So, uh, yeah, so only the eyeball will stick out. So, they can look around, see whether they have any uh, predators. Okay, so, anyway, that's why. So, we need to study that as well, yeah. So, adaptation for survival in the environment. Now, there are two key things that I need you to know over here. Uh, two keywords. First word is structural. The other word is behavioral. So there are two types of adaptation. On the first page, okay, there's a structural adaptation. There's also behavioral adaptation. Yeah. So structural adaptation means that the body part has changed that it will survive in the natural habitat. One time. Structural adaptation means that the body part, that means structure. No, it's, it's here, eh? special body parts help it to survive in the natural habitat. That means the body has changed. The body, just like the mud skipper, right? Can you see the mud skipper? Does it look like a fish? A bit, lah, right? But there are some things that change, right? We talk about the eyeball shifting from the side to the top of the head. So that is a structural change. Okay, what else? 
uh, it has pins. This is too so cute. <laughs> it has pins that can swim and also uh, use as legs. Yeah. So, right. so that is a structural change. Okay, all these are structural changes. Structural changes. So the structure change. All right, that's why it's called structural adaptation. Now, how about behavior? Behavioral adaptation, are special ways an organism behaves to survive. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, bear, okay, snake, snake. All right, so this is the underground. So during winter time, snakes will hide underground. So this is an action, it is a behavior, right? It's a behavior that they carry out, right? Is, is there something, you know, has the body changed for them to, to hide? No. no. So it's a behavior, something that they do. Okay, give me another example. I'm still very confused. Yeah, yeah. Peacock. Peacock dance. Okay, so peacock dancing, right? Dancing, dancing, right? Huh? You know peacock can dance? I didn't know that. I only know peacock. <laughs> okay, let's see a video of a peacock. This is amazing white people. People. Yeah. Let's see him dance. This one is the white people. Where's the dance? This is the dance, right? See, can you see he's dancing? Did you see? This is this 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 is the dance. This is the dance. He's dancing already. <laughs> eh, can you see shaking the backside? This is the dance. Ah, then this is also male, right? right so they are dancing, eh? Dancing, dancing, you see that? Yeah. If, if not, what do you think it's doing? Yeah, it's dancing, or is it dancing? Ballet, ballet, I don't know. It's dancing, this is a. Uh, see? Ooh. <laughs> they are not hunting for food, this is dancing. Show the back side, say. This is a female, this is a male, right? This one female. So they are trying to attract the female by dancing. Okay, wow. wait, huh? So this is a, this is behavior. The dancing is behavior, okay? But what about this huge, huge, uh, what do you call it? It's feather. Huge feather. It's a structural. You got it? Uh, structure is things on the, the body part, the body part, what they do, action, the action, okay? I'll give you another example, uh, polar bear hibernating, you know, you know, you know how long polar bears are hibernating for? And they hide inside the cave, right? Okay, so they hide inside, can you see? How long, how long do they hide inside for? One month, uh, one to two months. Okay, hibernate, what does it mean? That means they sleep for two months. Can you sleep for two months? No. <laughs> right, I can't, okay. Uh, so they just sleep inside, they don't do anything, they just sleep inside. So it's a behavior, it's a behavior. Now, why do they sleep inside? It's because during that period of time, if they are outside looking for food, they won't find anything. So they are like, okay, since I can't find anything, and if I were to walk around, I lose energy, right? Then why not, I just go and sleep. That's it, All right? So they'll sleep for two months. But of course, before they go in to sleep, they eat a lot of small, small animals, so they'll eat until they are very fat. Oh, then they go sleep for two months, then they wake up again two months later. Okay, so this is a behavior because it's not a structure change. You understand? The structure didn't change, but it's a behavior uh, that they do, right? So they hibernate. <coughs> do you? Okay, that. okay, adaptation example. See that? Hibernation is a behavioral adaptation. <laughs> is that watching TV? <laughs> Chill, huh? Or this, or who sleeps like that? Anyone who sleeps? <laughs> this is when you're very, very tired, right? You go home, then you just sleep. I can do that. You can do that. Oh. Yeah, so cute, huh? Or then, or this, this is so sleepy. Hibernation. I can sleep. This is like, this oh, is like tomorrow PSLE show. <laughs> 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 I don't want to go take the PSLE, then someone drag the thing. Uh, all right. Okay, so it's behavior. Okay. Yeah, this behavior. Got it? So that is the difference between behavior. So behavior is specific ways, special ways that the organism behave to survive in its natural habitat. All right. So behavior, something they do. Now, the first type of adaptation we look at is uh, movement. 
So the obvious one is fish. Okay, so we have fish. Now, what type of uh, modification does the fish have done on the body? I mean, not the fish done to the body, right? So over the years, it modified, okay? What do they have that we don't have that allow them to swim in some water? The first one, huh? no, 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 movement, movement, movement. Yeah, the fins, right? You got the fins, right? Another one, uh, you got to highlight this, right? It's called the streamlined body shape. They have a streamlined body shape. Now, what's the meaning of stream? Uh, yeah, like an aeroplane, right? Uh, like very sharp in the in front and after that, move up. Like that. Yeah, what's, what's the meaning of streamline? Uh, streamline car. Sports car have streamline, correct? Oh, Why? Uh? Like Aerodynamics, okay? okay. Which, which car is the... Whoa. Which car has the most... Uh, Lambo. Streamlined. Uh, Lambo? Ferrari. Right? Let's, let's see, okay? Ferrari. Ferrari. What do you call that? Wind tunnel. Yes. Oh, yeah, actually, F1, F1. F1 car has the best. Okay, see? So, streamline. So, what happens is that it allows the air to pass through. You got it? Air will just pass through, like, as it, as it, it flows through. Like. Yeah, streamline. But of course, fish is not allowed air. Huh? Fish allow water, water to pass through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, so you see, air can pass through. The, the vehicle doesn't block air, so it's streamlined. Okay, which vehicle don't have streamline? It's the worst truck. truck. Okay, let's look at double decker bus, right? Motorcycle streamline. Ah, double decker bus. Uh, okay, wind tunnel. Nobody even bothered to do that. Okay, many people. Okay, so this is quite big. Huh? Let's see. Okay, can you see? This is very big. Okay, so it's not very streamlined, see? Eh? It blocks, this, this thing blocks a lot of air, but what they do is they try their best. Okay, what do they do? They try to make it curvy. You know, curve here, here also curve, there's a curve, right? So that the wind can pass through. Now, what's so important about uh, having a streamlined body? Yeah, swim faster. So it's the same with this big truck, right? If you can do streamline, a streamlined body, this truck will pass through air faster. Faster. It doesn't need to use so much energy. Okay? Okay? So another example is uh, when you're swimming, right? When you're swimming, huh? if you have a person walking in water versus you swimming, right? Who has a streamlined body? Walking, walking or streamlined? Walking. No, walking. No, swimming is streamlined. Why? Because you are, you are, you are, you are swimming like that. I think in water. Right? Okay, I'll give you another one, right? Why do all uh, Olympic swimmers need to wear cap? Uh, what, what, what about the hair? And then what? Water reason. Yeah, water is very good. Water reason, right? So you wear the cat's more streamlined. <laughs> they wear the earplug thing, right? Oh, I'm big thing, uh. Now they make they, they actually uh do it even uh they, your cat comes up. Huh? Your cat comes up. The swim streamline swimwear. <laughs> they actually take it one step further. You know, you know the type of uh the swimsuit that they wear, right? It's like really tight. It's not the same as those that you buy or something. Like okay, they have the uh, scientists uh, to go and uh, figure out uh, where is the yeah, swimmer swim uh, research controversy. Com okay, they call it the competitive swimsuit. Right. Yeah, I want to see the very people try to. Yeah. Okay, there isn't a. I think it's better. No, I want to see a picture. Yeah, so. No, I just want to tell you, you can see the difference. I mean, we can't really. Yeah, we can't really tell the difference, but what happens is that they have some signs in it. Different. They have those special lines or something, okay, yeah, something like that. 
Okay, if you see this type, this type, uh, with all these weird, weird lines on, those with weird, weird lines, all these lines on, right? right? It's not there for show, you know? It's not to look nice, okay? They have, yeah, they, they, there's, there's some special thing here, so that when they wear this thing, uh, they have less water resistance. Water will flow through them. You know, when they're swimming, yeah, when they're swimming, they swim faster, right? So why is it important for them to be able to swim that little bit faster? Because uh, you know, like first position one versus position two, right? it's like zero point zero one second difference. You know what I mean? So if they wear this suit and then it can help them faster by zero point zero one second, they will wear the thing. You got it? Okay, and then of course all, all of them wear caps. Hmm? Then, then, then it's called a speedo tech suit. Speedo tech suit, right? All of them wear this special speedo tech. I, I have no idea. I never worn speedo tech suit. is an eight band speedo racing suit for dominating the pool. Uh, where you can swim faster. But but of course, if I wear, am I going to be an Olympic swimmer? No, because it's only faster by 0 0.01 second. But to them, it's a big difference. You got it? Okay. So this is called streamlined body. So fish has a streamlined body that allows water to pass through, I mean, uh, pass through their body faster so they can swim faster. Why do they need to swim faster? Is it Olympic competition? Swim. No, got medal, is it? They win a medal. Huh? Food, yeah, catch the prey or to run away, not run, swim away from predators, right? Oh, is it? Swim away, they gotta swim away. Okay, next they have modified limbs. So their limbs, they're not hands, they don't have fingers. Uh, they have all become these uh, flippers. So for the turtle, it has flippers. Seal also have flippers, right? Seal. Flippers. Right, so you see, seal has flippers. All these are flippers that allows them to walk as well as uh, swim. The most important is to swim, right? Swim faster. Next. Okay, swim bladder. What's a swim bladder? Anybody know? During Chinese New Year, you might have eaten it. Swim bladder. <laughs> bladder. What's human bladder? What does it contain? <laughs> Urine. Okay. Then this is the fish swim bladder. What does it contain? Urine. No. <laughs> the swim no. bladder. Huh? Digestive food. No, it's not intestine. Poo poo. No. No, this one, this contains water. Uh, contains water. The PP is in some other bladder, okay? This is only for swimming. This is this is their air balloon. Now, let me show you swim bladder. Now, you, you might have eaten it, okay? It's a Chinese delicacy. Swim bladder in fish. Okay, where is the swim bladder? Uh, if this is a fish, this white color thing is the swim bladder. The brain, look at the brain. Oh, that, that fish. Huh? Where are the bladder? Uh, somewhere here, uh, together with the near the intestine on this, right? So this is a you see the swim bladder is so big. Why is it so big? Because okay, example uh, when he wants to go up, the fish wants to swim upwards, right? He wants to float, the whole thing will be filled with air, like a balloon. Got it? When he wants to sink, the whole thing will be filled with water. The mouth, the mouth, somewhere, somewhere in the mouth or whatever, right? So the water might come out like this, okay? So it, so it can control going up or down, okay? Have you eaten this before? Have you eaten this? Okay, what's the English term for this? I mean, it's called swim bladder in science, but the food, the food name is different. Ah, the food name is different, no? Wait, let me, let me recall. Ah, okay, uh, let me show you the picture, right? More. There, 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 there. <laughs> this is the banner. Right? Yeah, very nice one. This is the this is a fish mall. Fish mall is the fish. Swim. What tofu? That's a swim bladder. No, swim. Okay, fish more. When you eat the thing, what's the what's the sensation? Crunchy, crunchy, jelly, jelly, right? Got a lot of air bubble inside, ma. This one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So sometimes they put inside shark fin soup. It makes it swim better. Yeah. So when you eat the thing, it's a bit crunchy, crunchy. Yeah, it's a child. Uh, they mix with all this stuff. Uh, this is uh, how it looks like. Okay? The yellow color thing. It's not. It's, it's quite nice. Don't worry. It's a swim better. <laughs> but are you still going to eat it? Why? Fish. Okay, don't, don't look at it. So look at the actual thing. 
page more eh then it's still full yeah it's the same page yeah. <laughs> like you take out from the page it's so big yeah people cut 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 ma, so that you can so eat big. yeah nobody will eat one big swim better like that right <laughs> if i give you one big swim better you'll be you know, it's squeeze more <laughs> yeah, it sounds very good. Chinese is yu piao. Yu piao. Yu piao. This big fish swim better. Yeah, there looks like that. Crunchy on, huh? They're going to fry the whole thing. Yeah, fish more. What the heck? This is dry. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Vietnam. The soup, okay? Then you see, got happy face or not? Oh my god, this is very good. Best value to put a EU fish mall. EU fish mall. Right. Right. So this is the uh yeah, swim Eww. ladder. So what's supposed to swim ladder? Up and down, okay? For the fish you got. Do you have a swim ladder? No. Obviously we don't have, okay? But we have lungs. Right? Yeah. Have you realized when you're swimming, uh, you take a deep breath, then you go inside the water, you float on. Have you realized? No. Try next time. Yeah, yeah, I think I should not realize. But why? Because you have uh, when you take a deep breath, it's like you have a big balloon. I feel all my swimming Blue. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it's the same. Uh, the the fish will fill the swim bladder with like air so that it will float up. Oh, yeah, because of COVID. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, moving in air. So some animals can fly. We say like birds. Okay. So all of them have wings. Now, but that's not the only thing that they have. What else do they have? They have strong flight muscles. That means their muscles are their their wings muscles are stronger than like normal human beings. Okay, let, let me give huh? Yeah, we don't have wings. But let's say if I were to make wings and I put it on your hand, are you able to fly? No. Like I give you wings, like wings, and then I ask you to go and fly. Can fly? <laughs> no, 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 no. We cannot. We cannot. Why? Because we don't have strong flight muscle. Our arms are very weak. Okay. Yeah, the bird look at your arms and eyes are so skinny how to fly. Not possible to fly, right? So the feather also can fly. You got it? Right, so the birds laugh at us. That's why every morning, you know, at my house, I always hear the bird go like, hee 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 hee. <laughs> yeah, of course, right? What else, what else do they have? Okay, they have feathers. They have feathers, okay? Do we have feathers? No, but we have feather, we have feather duster, right? In the dust. Oh, no, you know the people, right? Yeah. 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 We have fellow nurses. All right. Now, what else do they have? <coughs> yeah, allow them to fly. Yeah, no, they're just birds. They don't, they don't, they don't, we don't classify them as mammals. What yeah. else? Structure, structure. I mean, they're like wind like structure. Wind like structure. Space structure. Wind like structure. What wind like structure? That's for plants, huh? Oh, they're very light. They're very light. Okay. Now, how light are they? They have Very both high. hollow bones. Hollow. How to, how to pronounce this? Hollow. Last time, I, there was once I had a, I had a U, U.S. student. U.S. or U.K.? No, Australia. I said hollow bones. And then she was like, what? I said hollow bones. And she said, wrong. That's a wrong. Because to her, I pronounce as hollow. Hollow. That's the girl like any social media. Yeah. Right. So to her, I, I pronounce. Who that is? <laughs> what? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, I, I don't know. Forgot which one is it already. Two, three years ago. Like. So to her, it's like hollow. Then she's like, oh, you mean hollow? Huh? Yeah, this is supposed to be pronounced as hello, hello. Uh, how how do you in the hello pronunciation? Rather, you Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. So to her, I pronounce. Hello. 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 So, good job, yes, yeah, so it's hello, okay? Yeah. What about the English word? Hello, 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 hello. 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 Right, so that was my, hello. so I got corrected, okay, for my pronunciation. I always remember this, right? Because she was like, what did you say? What did you just say? No, not hello. This hello, this hello, hello bones. Hello. So birds have hello bones, right? What's the meaning of hello bones? Hello. Huh? We? 
Which? Strong. Strong? Strong. Strong. Yeah. Strong. No, inside got air. Empty bones. Yeah. Empty bones. Empty bones. Hello. This hello. Hello. Eh? Can you see? Hello. Say a food. Food. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello bones. Oh my god, the date can turn so ugly. <laughs> eh? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. What? Yeah, so they have hollow. Now, does human beings have hollow bones? What? No. Yeah, they don't have human beings. Human beings. Yeah, No, 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 no. Will we have hollow bones yeah. when we are old? You understand? Wow. That's why young people, old people must drink milk. Got it? Oh, Peter Shaw. Peter Shaw. Peter Shaw. What? Peter Shaw. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I do remember that. Peter Shaw. Yeah, I for, the I young, for the young and old. I'm actually lactose intolerant. And then five years later, because my mom one packet, 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 one Never mind. Okay, so yeah, so this is for the this this for young, right? What do the old people drink? <laughs> Milk for old, right? Milk for old people. Uh, see? And sure, ah, and sure, yeah. Even they drink it, <laughs> no, look at that, look at that, see? So when they drink milk, see? What happens? They are happy, right? Uh, can massage each other, okay? Now, if you, if you don't drink milk and if you have hollow bones, you go massage, what happens? <laughs> they will be very easy, you understand, right? So old people, they, they have to walk slowly. Uh, oh, right. my grandfather. Yeah. My <laughs> okay, I mean, you cannot let them fall down, no, because they have hollow bones. <laughs> I mean, it's not a hollow as in so hollow, right? But they have weak bones, right? And if they don't drink and sure, okay, what, what happens? My grandfather drink. Must drink and sure, then happy, is it? Drink and sure, happy. Uh, I don't know, ask Google, right? For all lactose <laughs> intolerant people. <laughs> you drink the Harvey Fresh. See? Harvey Fresh. You look not true, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, you want to Okay, so there is, uh, there's always something. You understand? Don't worry, right? You're I don't want to drink milk. Yeah, you're not going to be something for you. Okay, so anyway, anyway, human beings, we don't have hollow bones, but that doesn't mean old people can fly. No, no, right? They have weak muscle. Okay, even though they have hollow bone, they cannot fly also. Okay? So birds, <laughs> so birds have all these characteristics uh, to allow them to fly. But how come birds like ostrich, emu, penguin, chicken, turkey, all cannot fly? Uh, 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 too heavy, right? Yeah. Okay, why ostrich cannot fly? You see, ostrich, emu, kasova, what is it? All TV, all TV, they all can't fly because it's, they're too fat. Too fat. Okay, they evolve. Oh, what? Real, sir. What? Chicken, chicken can fly a bit. It's like flying, flying. Okay, flying squirrel is gliding. It's not. You understand? Know it's not like because they fly in water. You got it? They are like they thought the water is the air. You know? But they, they are used to in the being in the water, right? So this, like wait, wait, wait. what's the difference it's between like, real and ostrich? Is it an ostrich? Wait, why is it like leg backwards? What what is? Spraying. It's spraying, huh? Oh shit. Spray more food. <laughs> what's the difference, huh? I think it's I think Smaller version of uh, long neck with small face. Smaller version of uh, ostrich, uh, right? So all of them can't fly. Okay, so do they have hollow bones? Yes. Like yes. Maybe hollow. a bit, a bit. Okay, so that's why they can they can run so fast. But it's really hollow. Money. Yeah. Essentially, guys, they just talk about dumb. They're they're dumb, but they make a lot of money. That's all. Okay. Never mind. Go back. Go back. Okay. <laughs> they're saying uh, dumb people also can become rich. 
<laughs> anyway, let's look at this, right? So back to here, adaptation for breathing in water. Can we breathe in water? No. Yes, we can. What do we have to do? Bring oxygen, bring oxygen tank. We can breathe in water. But animals don't have to do that. Some animals don't have to do that, right? They breathe in water uh, through gills. How does the gills work? <laughs> How does the gills work? Ooh, look at that. Gills. Okay, look at a like, uh, cute, cute picture first, okay? Cute picture. How does gills work, okay? So first, uh, you realize that the fish always open close mouth, right? Fish always open close mouth, right? Why, huh? They need to take in water. Then after that, <coughs> yeah, then after that, they need to, they need to squeeze the water out of the, the this, this place. Yeah, whatever, salt water or the normal water. Yeah, they need to squeeze the water out from here. Can okay, you imagine you drink water, then you need to squeeze it out from here. You need to like, the water come out, come out, right? As the water come out, the gills will... Open up. Yeah, sort of. Okay, this part, yeah, right? This part, this part, okay? So the gills will then absorb the oxygen from the water that you push out of your face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so the water can be push out, all right? So dissolve oxygen, so gills, fish, shrimps, tadpoles, unfortunately, our shrimps are all dead. So they were cooked in a hot pot. Right? Okay, so uh, what other animals have gills? Crabs, right? Crabs have gills. Crabs have gills. Then what's inside the shell? And which includes which includes gills and intestines and heart and brain and everything. Crab gills. Yeah, you them, huh? Okay, where are the crab gills? Eh? Oh, the eyes are there. Then why is the meat so delicious? Because they're only eating the meat, they're not I eating the... I seriously eat crab, I think my allergy of crab went to go about Wait, where, where are the gills? Not okay, this, this, this one, right? So the gills are like somewhere here, right? Of course, you don't eat the gills, uh, they will... People who handle the thing will just throw them away. Okay, we don't eat the gills on us, uh, right? So there are gills inside. Prawns also have gills, huh? Where are the prawn gills? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's near the face, okay? The prawn is, is almost the same as fish, right? Near the face, right? The, the gills are here, so water go in the mouth and then uh, come up through the gills itself. Well. Yeah? All right. So mosquitoes are have gills, because they are kind of cheap fish, right? But, but at the same time, there's also this thing called gill chamber. Now, this, this thing I need to explain, okay? Uh, what are gill chambers? Can you write it down? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so what is gill chamber? <laughs> gill chambers or crap. Okay, look at this. Now this is a gill chamber. So if you open up the shell, right here you have a gill chamber. Now let me explain. Uh, now how does human how does human beings to breathe underwater? We have to bring a uh, oxygen tank, right? We have an oxygen tank. And then what do you do with the oxygen tank? So what would you do inside the oxygen tank? Yeah, so we're a diver, diver. Right. So this diving. Ah, uh, see. So this guy bring this thing with air inside his air. Ah, uh, better come out before it runs out, right? So he brings air. Underwater, so you can breathe underwater, right? So crab do the reverse. They bring water. You understand? In the gill chamber. Yeah, okay, so now go back to the ocean, like open up the tank and breathe. Gill chamber, what's gill chamber? It's the same as this tank. But okay, instead, wait, wait, wait. You understand the concept? But instead of water, instead of air, what does the crab put inside here? Water. You got it? Huh? No, it stores water inside so that it can extract the dissolved oxygen from the water. And then after they extract, then it they can breathe on land. Wait, what the water goes? Once they use up the water, they go back into the water. It's the same. Yeah, they give up water. It's, okay, it's like the same. You see, you see, what do we give up? We give up air, right? So the amount of oxygen gets lesser and lesser and lesser, right? So once you are almost done, what do you do? It has to go up. To refill with oxygen, but the 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 fish, I mean, uh, this crab is different. When it come out, yeah, out of water, go onto land, you'll be like, oh, there's no water. I need to get some water in my water tank, okay? But they don't have water tank. They have the gill chamber. You got it? Ah, uh, phrase one. <laughs> gill chambers are like water tanks. 
No need lah, it's okay. Then they can, they, okay, you, you don't have to go and explain what's build chamber, do you understand? I just need you to understand the concept, that's all. Exam will not be like, okay, explain how the build chamber works, no, okay? But they will only ask you things like, okay, how does a crab breathe on the land? You just say, oh, the crab uses build chamber. That's it, yeah. You don't have to explain like, oh, like the diving, uh, what do you call that? Human beings don't need to bring oxygen tank, I don't know. But you just need to understand how it works, okay? So it's the reverse of what human beings do. So same, the mask people also do the same thing, okay? Look at how cute it is. Cute little place, yeah? So the mask people also have a gill chamber. So for them to breathe on land, they take water, put inside the gill chamber, and then they go out and they can start to breathe, okay? So we are not clever, you know, we get the, we get the idea from that, to go diving, see? Anybody knows how to dive? No. Do you dare to dive? You don't dare. To, I mean, I, I, I scared to dive, you know. Because uh, I scared the fish eat me. <laughs> huh? What? I'm scared of You see a diver, diver, big fish. I mean, to the fish. I mean, look at this guy. This guy is so like, innocent and not very clever, right? This, yeah, look at the body. I mean, the fish is like, the fish look at you and then, yeah, you know, you don't, you don't know what he's thinking, right? Before you know it, it was just a good, you know, and then you're gone. Okay, look at the big fish. You see, it's so big. Look at this one so big. The so big. Yeah, the brain's so big. This is called a uh, mola, mola fish. Mola, right? Exactly, right? So, isn't, isn't that very scary? Look at that. Oh, big fish is quite oh, scary. White, oh, big mouth. Yes, yes. I don't know. It looks like clickbait, though. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, money. So, this is no boss. Yeah, only two black. What? Because it's. It's not like you said it's real. It's not real, lah. Uh. I don't think it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Big fish. Big mouth fish. Oh, this one. This was a mola. Look at that. Can you imagine this thing just go inside? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just trying to breathe, you know, then accidentally you. This is a stingray. This is called a sunfish. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, you never know, right? In, in underwater, there's all sorts of uh, creatures. What do you do? One of them eats you up. Okay, so I don't have to go diving. Anyway. So there are many other ways which uh, animals breathe, right? So, uh, like a worm. So how do worms breathe? Oh, are you huh? No. Skin. 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 No, no, uh, work in intestine. Yeah, then, some of them, have, when I live inside, uh, some people actually have to remove them, okay? Yeah, so how do they breathe? They breathe through their skin. Skin. They use their skin to breathe. All right, what else? Uh, some have air tubes, okay? Water sting inside, mosquito lava, all this. Air tubes, huh? I, I think my own is the infection, you don't want to do it. <laughs> Right, so okay, what's your lava? Look at that. Is it lava or larvae? I think it's lava. I think it's lava. Okay, wait, wait. Look at this. 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 Then the teacher tell me you should dress up and then I was laughing and then people. Laughing. Then I go follow my friends say laughing. Then people laugh at you or not? No, no one laughs. I don't know how to turn down. I'm like, this is this. Laughing. 
Okay, okay. Three, three birds, right? Three uh, shopping mall, car park, they like to go. Yeah, building, building. Yeah. Three birds, you see? They allow them to grow. Right, so plants also have. These are all structural, okay? Structural adaptation. Uh, okay, so plants, uh, some of them have air spaces. Why do they have air spaces in plants? Air space, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what the hell is that? All right, so look at this. The air space. Okay, see. Okay, here. Right, they have like bubble, bubble, like, oop, bubble, like, oop, bubble, like structures. Okay, air spaces. So basically, the air space is allow them to float on water. Once they float on water, they will be able to uh, obtain sunlight. Okay, next, protection. They have feathers to keep warm, right? Uh, animals have fur, some have scales, some have shell, some are spiny. What are some spiny stuff? Spiny and eater. What happened to my Google? Okay, yeah, so this is a spiny anteater. So you see that? Yeah, the mouth is small, right? Like tiny little bit. Yeah, so what's the purpose of the, you know, the spine? spine? To kill the No, protection. Protection. You know what? Peacock has about 5,000 to 7,000 spines. Are they, are they, you know, I watch, they when I watch cartoon, right, they always say that the... Uh, They're like those intolerant food. Are you sure? Yes. They say that a spiny editor can, can shoot out the spine. Can it shoot out the spine? No. I don't think so. Right? Search, if, I'm very sure examples of dollar. I'm very, very sure. Why? Because they're so spiny. Look at each hawk. Each hawk. Each hawk was cute. Look at the baby. It's so cute. Yeah. Each hawk. I don't know. But it, it doesn't matter. Each hawk is. I'm very sure. <laughs> Don't give it to any wild. Don't give it to any wild animal, but. No, go to all. Go to all. Go to all. It's so cute. Go to all. The all way. Then they really have. Then, headshots are like those in the See? Yeah. So don't give them here, okay? You know how they'll suffer and then they'll die? Can cows drink milk? Can cows drink milk? But you know, peas and all that. Peas and all that. Milk is not peas. 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 Milk that's cow drink milk. Many children don't understand that cows drink milk for that. Yeah. So yeah, so cows drink milk, okay? Cows drink milk. Right, so this is for protection, right? Spiny and it does. Okay, camouflage, which is the best uh, camouflaging animal? Chameleon. Oh, this one must understand how to pronounce, right? Chameleon. Is it a chameleon? Chameleon, chameleon, or what? I think it's chameleon. Chameleon. It's chameleon. Okay, so camouflage the best is the chameleon. Okay, 